um, to symbolically dress them in uh, preparation of ceremony, uh, to uh, cover them as protection, but also to uh, cover their hearts as what they are doing is uh, very important work. So during this uh, ceremony, as we dress our um, relatives here, uh, we want to invite you all to have a strong mind as we put the headbands on our uh, respective relatives here. Uh, we're coming together collectively, as the name uh, refers Netzamatzt. We are coming together as one. So to put our hearts and our minds together here today to create this safe space, it's a wonderful space and uh, we're very proud uh, to present a small piece of our culture here this morning in accordance uh, and thanking our elders, of course, as we enter an era of reconciliation. Many of these ceremonies uh, were banned under Canadian law prior to the 1960s. It was illegal for us to potlatch. It was illegal for us to gather like this in our longhouses and continue our customs. So we've come a long ways in the last couple of generations and it's because of the strength of our elders that are here and our elders and our communities that held on to these customs and these traditions and our languages that we can continue to celebrate together as Canadians uh, the wonderful cultures of our people, that our history is your history. Uh, this land is laden with mythology. Uh, everywhere you go in and around what is now Vancouver has traditional place names, has village sites, resource gathering areas, uh, burial grounds. There are many areas um, throughout the history and we've been invisible in our own land for a very long time. So it is a celebration today that we could share our culture with you. Uh, we're in an area known as Kum Kumalai, and just right next, Kum Kumalai refers to the, the, the maple trees, the, the broadleaf maples. Uh, and we're near an area known as Squachais, which was a very important uh, area in the three families uh, with the spring waters that came out of the grounds here towards Falls Creek in between uh, Burrard Inlet and Falls Creek. These were sloughs and, and mud flats, and uh, the spring waters that flowed in this area represented a portal into the spirit realm, so it was a doorway. And as we brush the doorway today, we want you to all keep that in mind, the thousands of years of history and the connection and the spirit of this land. Why did we bless the land and why are we doing this today? It is to honor the spirit, honor the connection that each of us has, that breath of life. So um, we're also, uh, to the witnesses, we're, we're pinning a little bit of money uh, it's not Canadian tire money, believe me, it's, uh, it's, it's real currency. And uh, this is part of our custom as well, is to thank those that are working on our behalf. It's not a payment, it's simply a thank you for your time and your generosity and your teachings to bring those here today and share them in a good way. So uh, that is what uh, the family is doing at this time, is uh, in addition to the blanketing and the headbands, they're pinning money on uh, for this work. And it's also important to honor the change of seasons uh, as we are in Tamtsatskai, which is the April moon. Uh, we just came from Tamthout, which brought the herring back to our waters. Uh, herring have been absent uh, in and around the Salish Sea for a long time. They've been in peril uh, for many decades due to mass industrialization of our territories. And we're now seeing a revitalization of environment. And that's something I know uh, the mayor has spoken very strongly about, uh, environment. Uh, and sustainability and uh, the connection to the land, the rhythm of the land is important. Why we gather here again is to honor that we're a part of those intricate cycles of change and rejuvenation. So Tamtsatskai is the April moon. It brings the saskies, the salmonberry shoots and the budding uh, of the plants as you see are coming back to life. And that uh, also is symbolic of our culture here today as we breathe life back into it and we're all a part of that rejuvenation. 
So just uh, bringing our hearts and minds collectively, uh, we're going to make our way to the entrance of the, the, the home here. We're going to start from the outside uh, as the brushers and the singers make our way out there. We're going to be sharing one of our songs uh, known as Chat. This is a uh, uh, used uh, for these types of occasions. It's also known as the totem pole song from our Matthias family. Some of you will remember the late Chief Joe Matthias. Uh, this was his family's song. So we're very honored to share this here today uh, in public as a way of uh, uh, brushing. And the ladies will be using uh, the cedar boughs of Chapayach along with the stuktok, the beautiful water. And um, with that, there's some tamat, which is the red ochre that they will be uh, using as blessings to honor uh, the land, to honor the air, and to honor the water, that this is uh, our home. And we want it to be uh, welcoming to all visitors that walk through these doors. So that is one of the intentions of the celebration, is to share a song and to do the brushing to allow uh, for people to come in and feel welcomed. So thank you. Now that our relatives are dressed uh, for ceremony, we're now going to make our way to the entrance of the, the Netzamatz of the beautiful library.